Every Sunday, Dennis, Cassandra, and John sit in these seats. And you may remember Dennis. Dennis shared his story with us about a year ago, uh, following Jesus and how it really started with his brother, who was a follower of Jesus. And uh, Dennis really wasn't into the whole church thing, but when he lost his cousin, who was really close to him, he knew exactly where to turn. He started having conversations about faith with his brother, and his brother encouraged him to go to grief counseling, and that grief counselor introduced him to LCBC. And so Dennis started coming to LCBC at At The Movies two years ago, and then at our outdoor worship night last year, Dennis got baptized. And then fast forward one year from then to our outdoor worship night last month, where Cassandra was baptized after her mother had passed away this past year, and, and she had been wrestling through questions of how could God let this happen, and where is he in all of this? And after a lot of conversations with myself and with Dennis, Cassandra made the choice to follow Jesus and, and then get baptized and then introduce her cousin John uh, to LCBC at Easter oh, back in April. And since then, John, has, his life has been changing and he actually texted Cassandra just a couple weeks ago to say, thank you for inviting me to Easter. That one invitation has changed my life completely. And I share those stories with you today to say, you never know how your act of obedience, how your story could have an impact on the stories and lives around you. Uh, in Romans 5, 19, it says that Jesus' one act of, of going to the cross, following uh, what God's will was for him, that had a, a chain reaction of good, a chain reaction of life and life eternal uh, or in the world around him, in, in our lives. And now as, as followers of Jesus, we get to follow him in that. We get to uh, follow in his footsteps and, and every day choose to do as God is asking us to do. And when we do that, we have the potential to have a chain reaction of good, a chain reaction of life take place in the lives around us. And so as I pray today uh, for God to, to do that again in the lives around you, in the lives around me, I want to challenge you to ask God to reveal to you the way that he's calling you to act in obedience, to follow him uh, today. And so would you pray with me? God, we thank you for uh, going first and sending Jesus as an example to us of what obedience looks like. And God, I pray that as we seek to follow in his footsteps, we pray that you would um, bring people alongside of us that we could have an impact on. Uh, God, I pray that uh, the seats that are left empty in this room, we pray that they would be filled with people uh, coming to sit next to us. Uh, as, as we try to walk alongside them, the same way that you have walked alongside us, God, I pray that we would see a chain reaction of life take place. Um, I pray that more and more people will be introduced to you as a result of the way that we choose to follow you today. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.